Okay, I got 13 minutes to do this video, so hopefully I'll succeed. I'm about to put my hair in a really top knot bun real quick. Um, I'm using um, some World of Curls, okay, if y'all can see that. I'm using this um, Fantasia ISO Plus, but if I put this, I don't need this, so I'm going to use this. I mean, wait to use that Fantasia, and I got my trusty busty gel. I don't know which one I want to use. I opened this one already, so I guess I'll stick with this one. This is Eco Styler, by the way. They changed the look with this one. So, yeah, this is Eco Styler, too. So, I'm going to use the olive oil one. And as you guys know, I like, permed my hair last Sunday. So, I'm just going to push everything up. I'm push everything up. I see, like, dry gel bits coming out of my hair. I got to wash my hair tomorrow morning when I take a shower. Or maybe even tonight. I'm going to wash my hair. Because it has a week of gel and hair products in it. And I want to make sure it don't flake up and turn white. But I'm going to kind of do this quickly. Kind of mold it up with my hands. I like to put um, this uh, roll of curls on it first. Or any kind of like oil, grease or something. Leave-in conditioner. Something like this too. So that way when I put the gel on... It'll be so hard, you know, throughout the day. Even though I love good old molding gel, like, you know, that super maximum hold. I like that. I kind of do. Now, I still need to comb through the kinks to get that sleek filling in the back. Okay, I think that'll work. I'm doing this kind of quickly because my phone likes to, oh, it's only giving me 13 minutes and 46 seconds to record this video. And sometimes it will cut it off when it's 10 minutes already. So I have to hurry up. That's why I'm going a little faster. Do I have any bobby pins? Yes, I do. I got to buy some more bobby pins because I don't know what I'd be doing with the bobby pins that I buy. It seems like every time I get my hands on a fresh new one, it's like I would take some out that I want to use and I would set them out. Next thing you know, I don't know where they are. And I find myself just using all of my bobby pins. I used to have a cat named Kiwi. For those of you who don't know, I used to have a short hair, just American regular cat. She was black. Her name was Kiwi. She used to be playing with a lot of my bobby pins. So that's one of the main reasons why most of the time I don't have them. Or I just don't be putting them in the right place. So I'm not going to blame it on my cat. I'm just, you know, or the cat I used to have. So see, this is not really a top knot type of bun thing. It's more like just a bun that's up here. Now, I don't want it to be too, too tight because it'll give me a headache. Plus, when I put this on, I like to put it on really tight. This is my drawstring ponytail that I got from Amazon. It's a human hair one. It kind of looks like a freshie just took out some braids. That's why I like this hair. And just put the combs in. This is so convenient. It's better than, to me, the weft. I'd rather deal with drawstring human hair or synthetic ponytails rather than the weft ones because with the weft ones it's really supposed to be for weaves but some people just use those for ponytails too and um i used to use the weft ones you have to all around and then you have to stop bobby pin it and then do it all around and sometimes when you dance in or praise dancing it will come out it will unravel and i, I can't have no, no unravelings going on so since this is kind of looking all right, I'm not going to do too much of a top knot of anything, but I do want to make sure that this is on secure. And I kind of wanted a flare out look, so I did use my wig brush that I got from the Dollar Tree to kind of comb out. This is what I use for my wigs and for my ponytails. I do not use this on my regular natural hair. I don't. Now, even though I did get a relaxer, it's still my actual natural hair is what I mean. For those of you who haven't seen the video that I did last Sunday, I decided to get a perm and relax my hair. And I'm no longer natural, like transitioning to natural because you'll see the video. Now, this part don't need to be showing. It's like the weft part. See? So, I'm going to take some hair from the back because I kind of like this height look that I got going on with it. And we take just a little hair in the back and just kind of... If I can kind of hide this, let me see. Let's take this around. Nope, 
I still probably have to bobby pin this down and then take it around. If it don't work, then it don't work, whatever. I'll just put it into a bun. But if my weft is showing, it's okay. I'm at home. I'm not doing nothing special. But I want to put this part in the ponytail. Which if I'm if I'm gonna put it in a ponytail, I didn't need to take a strand of hair and wrap around because this is already gonna cover up my weft anyway. I was um I think I'm gonna watch some old wrestling videos today on the WWE network on Peacock. Because you guys I can add hair to this if I wanted to to make it kind of long. I wish it was just a little bit longer, at least like this long. So I can just wear it on the side, because that would be very oh that's what you call chic or whatever you want to call it. Chicisha. I'll just leave it like this. Okay, and for my edges, I use a little black edge control for the edge filler. How many more minutes do I have? Six. I got to hurry up because it's going to cut it off probably when it's 10 minutes. So this is some olive oil edge filler that I got from the local beauty supply place. And my little edge brush, which I need to clean. I need to clean all of my edge brushes. That's too much. Um, I have to fill in the parts where it's kind of bald. <laughs> That's what it's for. edge filler I'm glad they have stuff like this because for those who don't really want to wear a certain hairdos because you don't you know you don't want to show that you don't have any edges put some black edge control on it don't go crazy but just put some you know do something to make you know your hairdo pop you know it's you don't stop doing the hairdos that you want to do because oh, I don't got no edges that's how I used to be but now I'm like with all the hairdos that's coming out in this world with all the hairdos that's already out but all the now men got lace front beards and lit hair pieces. So wear your wigs, hide your kids, hide your wife, whatever. Because who cares nowadays? Now we have to look at men like is is that beard weird real? Is that uh hair piece you got on your hair? Is that yours? Don't talk about too much women. Don't talk don't talk too much about women wearing hair pieces and wigs and stuff when you Nowadays, we have to question if your sideburns are real. Don't do that, mister. <laughs> Thank you. But that's okay, though. I'm sure they're doing what they have to do because maybe they was born with the receiving hairline or receding hairline, and they ain't like it because it runs in their family. Like, thin hair runs in my family, but I'm not going to say, well, that's why I ain't got no edges because, you know, thin hair runs in my family. No, I've been doing some damage to my hair, cutting my edges and everything, shaving them, mm-hmm. With razors and stuff, because I didn't like beady bead edges when I was younger. Mm -hmm. So I'm not even gonna blame it on. Yeah, yes, my family does, especially my dad's side of the family. I think my mom's side of the family they got really thick hair. That's where the thick hair comes from, and my dad's side of the family is where the thin hair comes from. So I think I captured the thin hair part. And since I've been transitioning to natural, I feel like I've gotten some thickness back. But now that I'm relaxed, you can't tell. But you can see the thinness. Even when I was transitioning to natural, you can still see the thin parts of my hair. Okay. I'm trying to go up on a C motion, but I can't really do it on the on the I'm trying to prove my equal rights. So today I'm not really doing much. I think I might go to the store and give me some snacks later. Not now. But um, yeah, that's it. That's my ponytail, guys. It's very skimpy. I wish it was a little thicker. But um, I can always use some braiding hair to do a long braid or something. You know, do something with this. Maybe kind of tie it around or something. Ugh, that's one thing I don't like about this is like, whatever, the point is, Leave it out, leave it up, whatever. But that's my ponytail. Okay, so let me run through all of the products that I used. I did use some of this Organic Root Stimulator Edge Filler. It's black. I didn't go crazy with it. I used some of this Road of Curls to put on my hair before I laid the gel on. So that way if I want to change my hairdo, I will be able to and I won't comb through some hard gel. I put this on first. My hair was already greased up from throughout the week anyway, but I do have to wash it. And I use 
Eagle Stellar Gel. And that was it. And I just kind of swoop whatever edges I have left and I just swoop it. That's it. I could use some more edge filler, but I'm all right right now, y'all. I don't need to do nothing special. I ain't going nowhere anyway. So, But to the store later on to give me some more snacks because I can. That's it. And that's all I got, y'all. I hope you guys like this video. Just a little quick. And I didn't even use none of my bobby pins. But I think, I suppose if I put this in a bun, I'll probably need to use them. But that's it, y'all. See you on the next video.